Hello guys, it is I once again here to share with you a lovely, lovely video. And I want to share with you today quite a few things, quite a few things indeed. And uh, I hope that you all enjoy um, this video. Now, um, my audio quality is high. My video quality is high. I'm using my camera and my, um, computer and the mic in my computer. So, that's the best I got right now. If I need to, I will use headphones for a mic, but I don't have any com other cameras right now. So, you're going to have to deal with that. And I'm sorry if it is. You can look at it all you want and uh, see for yourself that I am indeed using high quality, best of the best. Um, I don't know about resolution. I don't want to mess with because I don't know too much about resolution. But yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, um, one subject out of the many of which I want to talk about today um, is that um, it has come to my attention that um, there has been a lot of people talking on my, uh, or commenting rather, on my um, <clears throat> let me adjust myself for a second, sorry. Not sure how to say this. Um, bone throwing action video. Bone throwing action video. Um, I think that's the title of it. Um, that's what the quotes are for. That's supposed to be the title. Anyway, um, so um, in that video, um, I show you guys how I read bones, um, when I did read bones. I don't read bones anymore, I haven't for months. Um, but when I did read bones, that's how I read them. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys how I read bones. But apparently, the way that I interpret the bones, the way that the spirits are speaking to me and telling me how the bones are saying it, things like that, is wrong. I'm not interpreting them correctly. I'm sorry. Are you the one that's hearing the spirit say, this is what this means? This is what that means? Maybe your spirits are telling you, this is what that means. This is what this means. But my spirits are telling me something completely different, obviously. I'm sorry if I'm being mean. I'm not trying to be at all. I'm simply trying to put up a point that I am not at all going to take up, put up, or take up any sort of negativity on my channel. I'm not going to accept any sort of negativity on my channel. I trying to think of how to wear this because I'm fairly angry right now. Um fairly emotional. So I am trying to contain my emotion um whilst making the video um, so that I do not spark any argumentation, um, any loss in subscriptions, um, or dress measures such as that, or, for that matter, 
um, some form of, I don't know, um, some form of conflict. I, I'm trying to avoid conflict. So, I'm trying to choose my words properly here. Um, so, one could say that it would be best if negativity is off of my channel. Because I'm preaching love. And that source is pure love. And that we all need to live it. On top of whatever else I happen to preach in the moment. But my main focus in the beginning of my priesthood with Thoth was Thoth and Source. Now, um, this links up because if I allow negativity to exist on my channel, then would that not be controversial? Would that not be a lack of effort on my part? The answer to both of those questions is yes, it would be. So, I have to step up. I have to make sure that there's no negativity on the channel. <clears throat> so, you know who you are. Please do not use any form of negativity in your comments. Check your emotions. Check your mental state. Check your physical state. Do not allow for any negativity to leak onto my channel or risk being banned from the channel and reported. Now, with all that really hard stuff aside, like, I really don't like talking about this stuff because it's a hard subject to talk about because people get offended really easily. And I don't want to make any conflict. I don't want to make any conflict at all. Um, I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to make anyone of that. I just want to make a point that I can't put up with this stuff because of the fact that I am the channel owner. That I do what I am trying to do with this channel. I need to be more active in trying to do the stuff with this channel. Um, moving on. Um, <sighs> Sorry, had to take a breath there. Um, Recently, I've been thinking about things that I can do um, to heighten my vibrations so that I will have better results on the Ouija board. Better ways that I can treat the Ouija board, ways that I can prepare before a Ouija session, things of that nature. <coughs> I've come up with a prayer. Um, I have taken some good luck oil and I have 
smeared, uh, not smeared, but uh, anointed, uh, should I say, the uh, weed board and planchette with the oil. Um, and before each session, I will um, sprinkle salt, water, and holy water on my Ouija board. Um, and I will light black candles for protection, and then I will um, light some incense to please the spirits. Um, and then say a protect prayer. Um, this is all done on my Lucifer altar. What is now my Lucifer altar. Um, so I do that and I mostly have been talking to, uh, Sorry, got a distraction. I got a little uh, notification. Um, where was I going? I, uh... I, uh... Comment on Ryan's um, uh, video. One of Ryan's, I said, any good vids, and vids on Luciferian witchcraft you remember? Either of yours or of you know of uh, anyway, right, right? Anyway, right, right? Do you have any recommendations on throwing? I'm new to it and really don't like it right now. It's not giving me. It's not giving me straight, direct answers. I'm getting annoyed and kind of want to quit it altogether. But I suppose that I could always learn from failures. Do you like MTG Magic the Gathering? Rai Rai. It's a TCG trading card game. And it is fun, I think. On that note, I also wanted to huge play Clash Royale. It's fun. It's fun. It's like a TC TCG, but also a tower defense game. I highly recommend it. If you have an iPhone or iPod, then you can download it from the App Store. But your tablet, it's an RCA, right? I think it is. Um... I think it's an RCA. I asked him if it's an RCA in the little parentheses. Um, his tablet, if it's an RCA, um, will run off of Android, so he can't play it. Um, Um, but then he said, my phone is an iPhone, LOL, heart, ah, uh, Michael Ford and Keode for Luciferian witchcraft, smiley face, uh -huh, uh -huh, I don't play games at all, I have no idea how, LOL, so, <laughs> he, uh, <coughs> Apparently, doesn't play games, which I have to be extremely, extremely entertaining. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, but anyway, um, I would like to say that I think that uh. I think that, um, it's been a very good experience so far working with Aphrodite. Um, I have made it altered to her. I'll have to show you guys sometime. Um, and I have...
I've worked with her for probably a week now. And the only reason why I'm working with her is because I want to learn more about love. Um, just in general, what love is. Um, how one can use it in any situation. Um, and stuff like that. Just try to make a whole bunch of different things. Um, um, I don't know. Um, it's been good. It's been good working with that, Freddy. Um, just completely lost my train of thought there because he made another comment. So yeah. Hang on, I gotta read this. Sorry, guys. Probably should have paused. I didn't realize it was going to be long. Anyway, um. Have not filled my crystal water. Have not filled my regular water. Yet. At all. Um. Just because I don't find a need for it right now. Um. I found. I, I remembered I had a bottle of water. Like, a plastic bottle of water. Um, in my room, the day that, um, Nut was out of water, or mainly out of water, um, so, I put, I poured a little bit of that water into her water dish, um, so she could have more water. Uh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me again. Anyway, um, I, uh, made a black candle. I used the brown and black candle that I had, um, pretty previously made, um, and put it on the, um, candle warmer. Um, and it melted the wax, and the black overrid 
the brown, so it was mainly black. You couldn't really tell it was brown. In the oil, in the oil warmer slash wax melter, um, I put four black candle nubs um, and melted those down. Then poured the wax into the brown, well, at this point we'll call it the black candle, into the black candle, and um, then put away in and did all that stuff. So it has a slight brown quality, which would mean that it's a slight grounding quality. So this candle will have a slight grounding quality, aside from the protective quality and the baneful, or uh, this is a this is actually a good topic, um, baneful quality. Um, for those of you who are new, you'll understand that black candles are baneful. However, um, that's a topic that I want to talk about because I honestly believe that um, all candles, not just not just black candles, but all candles, are simple amplifiers of our energy. They amplify our energy to the point where source or the universe, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call it source, um, can manifest our request um, into reality, space-time. Um, It's just that black candles, particularly, um, have been used more often um, to <laughs> use um, baneful magic. Alpha magic. So, an example of baneful magic would be voodoo, a uh, a uh, puppet working. Um, you would uh, saying voodoo was a bad thing. I'm sorry, um, because voodoo is a very um well respected religion. So, I'm sorry for saying that. Anyway, um, so say you're using a puppet to curse somebody. Um, whether you're using nails, um, or pins or something like that, um, or thorns or whatever, um, and you are working with the puppet, putting your ingredients into it, um, Putting your attention to each ingredient, um, giving each ingredient its own intention. You're making a list. You're saying, okay, source, this is what I want you to do. This is what I would like. So, for example, I did a spell, um, to ask for forgiveness and a better sight on a particular subject. The subject being um, my stepfather and I, my our relationship. Um, and the ingredients that I used were a puppet, two nails, rose ash, and crushed bay leaves, as well as some war oil. Um, so, 
whenever I used an ingredient, um, I would give it intention. So, first thing I do is I light my candles. I set my intention for my candles. What do I want the candles to do? What do I expect for the candles to do? So, in this example, I'm using a black candle, stereotypical black candle, for um, a amplifying my negative emotions. This was a curse originally, but then it turned into a spell. Uh, a spell. Anyway, um, so this candle is anointed with my war oil. Um, and then I light it with the intention of applying my negative energies. And then I grab a pot that I have. I made two. I grab one of them. Uh, anyway, moving on. I, I have one poppet. And I set the intention for it to represent my set failure. So that's the second thing on the list that I want the that I want source to do for me. So first off, when the instant I ask for with black candle to raise my energies that are negative, um, I feel its effect. So I think it happens. That's because source can recognize some things are positive, some things are negative. Sometimes we have to learn, sometimes we have to fail. So we have to put a lot of effort into these things. But anyway, so as expected, the Kindle does what it's supposed to do. Then the puppet, I can feel his energy in comparison. With what I have felt from my stepfather's energy before, I asked for the puppet to represent my stepfather. And all of a sudden, I, ha I have my eyes closed because I'm praying to Source to ask it to represent my stepfather. All of a sudden, when my eyes closed, I feel like he's in the room. And I'm like, okay, good. That's done. Then what I do is I take the nails, hold them in my hands, say, I want you to do this. I'm not going to say what, but I, I ask the nails to do a specific thing. I put them in the puppet in specific areas. And ask for them to do a specific thing to each area. I couldn't feel anything change. Then, I took, oh, yeah, I uh, took some of the war oil and made a, and formed a Kabbalistic cross um, on the puppet. A dab and finger in it, and then drew a cup of the cross on it. Um, then um, took some and put the puppet in my cauldron. I was thinking about burning it, and then I decided that I wasn't going to do that. I'll do what I did later. Um, anyway, um, then I took some rose ash, sprinkled it over the puppet, took some bay leaves, poured them into my hand. Crush them all up and sprinkle them all over the pipe. And let that sit until I decided that I didn't want to turn it. Then what I did was I gave it I gave it to Lucifer um on a silver dish and asked him to foresee 
um, the effect of the spell to come into effect. Then, um, what else? Um, not a whole lot else I want to share with you. I think I'm going to end here. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope it was a good uh, video. So, until I see you all again, um, remember to like, remember to comment down below, Remember to subscribe if you have not already. Um, if we can get to 40 subscriptions by the end of the month, that would be amazing, and I would love that. Um, the alchemy is doing good. Um, there is no matter at the bottom of either of the alchemical processes. The matter that is floating at the top of the darker one is uh, still there. It's still floating there. But there's no matter at the bottom either of the alchemical processes. Um, I have not collected rain water or spring water yet. Um, plan on doing that soon. For I'm probably going to need it. So, gonna get that. Um, I took all of the spiritual incense. That's what the smell is called, spiritual. So, uh, spiritual incense from Thoth's altar. And, uh, put them in, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Luther's altar. Um, sorry about that. Um, anyway. Um, so... Yes, the, um, spiritual incense. Sorry. Lost my train of thought. Um. Thoth is a god of them. And as such, Jasmine is one of his herbs. So, what I have done um, is taken all of my jasmine incense and oils um, and given them to him as a sacrifice. And I burn one jasmine incense, one jasmine incense a day for him. When I run out, I will use a few drops of jasmine incense oil for him until I get more incense. I'll probably have to talk about oil too because I have, this is my last bottle. And anyway. Um, Lucifer had no incense. Um, so, I decided that Lucifer, being a angel and not a god, doesn't have, isn't really as picky. Uh, he's a, he's a light bringer. Um, excuse me. He's an angel. He doesn't have associations that I understand. Uh, that's, that's how I understand it. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Correct me down below in the comments if I'm wrong. But, nonetheless, I digress. Um, so, I gave, I sacrificed the spiritual incense to Lucifer. But I'm running out of candles for him. 
and I don't know what candle color to use for him other than black. I could use white, but white is for nut. I'm using white for nut right now, and I only have three candles left. Um, that's not completely true. I have three half candles left, and then three full candles left. I'm saving the three half candles for a very dire circumstance, in case I don't get white candles by the time I need to get white candles in. Anyway, um, so I'm thinking of colors that I can use for Christopher for when I run out of candles for him. If I run out of candles for him. Um, it may come to the point that I will simply take Lucifer's altar down and move, um, Aphrodite's altar to where Lucifer's altar is. And then put all the stuff that's on Lucifer's altar away. Um. I, uh. I don't know. It could. I. I don't know. I'm just thinking of ways that, uh, of colors that I do. I don't. If you have any suggestions for colors that I can use for Lucifer, the Lightbringer, please, 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 please comment down below and let me know what colors you think I should be able to use that would be appropriate to use with Lucifer. No. Um... This is a really long video. A really long video. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Just because this is so long. Um, I will make another video. Um, uh, another video. Um, tomorrow. Or today. Depending on what happens. And, uh. I, uh. Hope that you all enjoyed um, today is my birthday party, um, I'm expecting a few people, not a lot, um, so, might not get, get as good a outcome as I would have hoped, but, nonetheless, um, nonetheless, um, It'd be nice to have my family's company. So, yeah. Anyway, um, give me likes, comments, subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Um, if we can get the 40 subscriptions, I will do a special video um, in celebration of that. Um, sharing some spells, sharing maybe a Ouija session. Um, and other little bits and pieces of things, magically intentioned and possibly otherwise, depending on what's happening that today. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Bye. My heart is exploding into your face, figuratively speaking. And until I see you all later, I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. Bye, y'all.